Nearly a century ago, our founders envisioned a world-class university in Saskatchewan, a university that would be a beacon on the prairies for innovative research and teaching and would help lead Canada into the future. That bold vision was exemplified over the decades by leading-edge science that would alter the course of agricultural production and by early Cobalt-60 research that revolutionized cancer treatment around the world. Today, under the leadership of the 8th President, Peter McKinnon, the university is renewing this dream through an institutional commitment to three defining characteristics. International standards, academic preeminence, and a sense of place. The hallmark of our innovation in science and technology is novel partnerships that start with a vision and a daring creative risk. In 1948, the university successfully lobbied for Canada's first Betatron. It was followed in 1964 by the Linear Accelerator. Then in the 90s, our scientists looked out on a vacant piece of prairie on the edge of this campus and imagined the site of one of Canada's biggest science projects ever. With the help of governments at all levels, industry, other universities, and the Saskatchewan community, the Synchrotron is a national resource for scientists across Canada and one of the most advanced facilities of its kind in the world. It's shedding light on many of the big questions in science that will help make practical improvements in everyday lives, from better imaging for medical diagnosis to faster computer chips. The story is similar for the $140 million International Vaccine Center, or InterVac, that will be built by 2010, and with the help of many partners, will reshape the landscape for infectious disease research in Canada. InterVac ultimately traces its roots back to the development of the vaccine for equine encephalomyelitis by Dr. J.S. Fulton in 1939. Today, Vito and InterVac are leading the way for new vaccines that will help eradicate animal and human diseases and potentially save lives. Spurred by the growing regional economy, the past decade has witnessed unprecedented construction on campus, including the new Toxicology Center, the expanded Western College of Veterinary Medicine, and the new Academic Health Sciences Center. It's a strong endorsement by government and private sector partners of the key role the university plays in economic development. Continuing in its century-old tradition, the university consistently responds to the most pressing needs of society. From creation of biodiesel from oil seeds and waste vegetable oils, to land reclamation after oil sands and mining developments, to leading edge water quality research, University of Saskatchewan's researchers are helping to improve the environment. By renewing our Law College building and its one-of-a-kind Native Law Centre, we're advancing Aboriginal governance and engagement. And by leading research efforts that will promote Aboriginal health, expand the role of cooperatives and foster entrepreneurial excellence, we're forging innovative partnerships that will improve the quality of life for all. We're building on a century of research momentum by launching new initiatives like the Schools of Environment and Sustainability, Public Policy and Public Health, areas that matter a great deal to the future of Saskatchewan and the country. Building on its founding vision, its outstanding research talent, and its ability to get things done in new ways, the University of Saskatchewan is poised to lead the country into new research frontiers.